Hello and welcome to Movie Bozos. I'm TJ here with Bjork. Hi. And we are continuing our Rententen Marathon with 1927's Hills of Kentucky, directed by basically nobody. He's uh, Howard <laughs> yeah. Bretherton. Yeah, I looked at his uh, filmography and it looked pretty damn average. The only film that stuck out was that King Kong vs. Tin Man film. That looks fun. King Kong vs. Rin Tin Tin? No, <laughs> King Kong vs. Rin Tin Tin Man. So it's just like a random metal robot. It looks cool though. Oh, I didn't see that. Where Where is that in this thing? Um, It's not called, though. What's it called? It's called The Monster and the Ape. I think it's on the left hand side of his filmography on that box. The Monster and the Ape. It looks really weird. But Does cool. it exist? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, it exists. It's exist. got um, some oh. ratings on it and stuff. Oh, I see it. Well, it's a gorilla. It's not King Kong. It, isn't it called King Kong versus the monster or something? I see the monster and the ape. Oh, I don't know where I got King oh, Kong from there. Apparently, <laughs> it was strikingly similar to Republic serial Mysterious Doctor Satan. But, uh, oh, a, the reviewer a classic. Liked the villain. Man, maybe we should get into serials. This looks fun. There is it's a Bella, Bella Lugosi 234 serial. 234 fucking minutes. Yikes. Serials seem a bit daunting. That's. Can you imagine if like Godzilla vs. Kong was 234 minutes? That actually sounds like misery porn. No. That and, uh, yeah, painful. even I, like, I've I've watched that movie like 10 times in a month. Um, and even that <laughs> would just be, it would be too much. Yeah, that is way too much. I, imagine how much Godzilla time there'd actually be. I think there'd be one hour of Godzilla. The rest are just oh, the people talking. right, yeah, and you have like three hours of talking. and Yeah, so, I mean, maybe trimmed the bits. Anyway, we're talking about <laughs> Hills of Kentucky. Um, the other nice bit of yes, trivia is that the lead actress, Dorothy Dwan, was uh, Dorothy in the silent version of The Wizard of Oz. That's the only other, like, interesting, like, cast crew tie and i found other than ren tin tin jr that's pretty cool at the end oh that's cool let me i think i've actually seen the sign as the divorce have you seen it or no i didn't hear yeah it. i think i think i've seen it oh okay i i have not but maybe i will i think um to do more eva science. stan laurel or oliver hardy's in it from laurel and hardy they have like a little role in it yeah, Hardy is in it as the Tin Man. Yeah, down. I got a good memory. All right, I've never watched any Laurel and Hardy. Yeah, it, the film came as like a Laurel and Hardy collection thing I got when I was younger, and Oliver Hardy and Stan Laurel are both on the front doing like a iconic pose, but one of them's not even in it, and the other's hardly even in it, so it's just like false uh, advertising. That's, that's funny. Yeah, they that's duped. Really they duped Kid Bjork. Well, I'm having some Di Sirono, as is tradition. Ah, yes. I think I have enough left for one, maybe two more shows. Sounds good. I'm having some standard black it's coffee so from good. my Heisenberg cup. Does this stuff go bad? What? Di Sirono? Does Di Sirono go bad? Um, yeah. It's a spirit, isn't it? Spirits don't usually go bad. Okay. Yeah, no, I know. It's just like it's like sugary, sweet, so I thought oh. maybe there's like sugar in it that could go sour. It might though, but honey's got sugar in it and that usually just crystallizes. Maybe the disorder crystallizes eventually. Oh, I guess you're right. It would it probably look wrong. <laughs> like oxidized and stuff. Like if you leave a glass of bourbon out overnight it looks disgusting. Just set some aside and leave it in like um a random cupboard drawer you never use and look back at it. In well, I don't years. have enough to, to waste on experiments. <laughs> I only have you have to buy some more for, for the experiment. One or two more shows. <laughs> no, I don't know that I want to buy more of this. It's so sweet and I only drink it for the show. Yeah, you only drink it to make me happy. <laughs> exactly. I guess we should talk about the movie. Um, yeah, we're doing probably. our traditional 16 ounce <laughs> network tradition of taking forever to get to the movie. Oh, should we um, talk? Did you know this was. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? The, according to, like, what, what, what? I, what? I was just going to say, do you want to mention the intern? <laughs> or are you leaving that for the main show? Um, well, I don't have anything to mention about him. 
Okay. <laughs> for this show. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it for the main show. Anyway, the 16 Ounce Network has a new unpaid intern, Nebraska, but we're going <laughs> to formally introduce him on the main show. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I love that name. Um, so according to Wikipedia and like some other site that they referenced that I went to, this is an incomplete print. Really? It seemed like he had a free. Like, it seemed like everything. the whole movie is there. So yeah. like, but it says it's seven reels, so seventy minutes, and this was like sixty six. So no, oh, so only what like four minutes. Part of a reel is missing, or what? Like, I don't understand what could be missing because it seems to have a complete story. And you know, if it was longer, thank God there are parts missing because <laughs> they don't need to be there. Yeah, I have no idea what could possibly be missing. I'm guessing maybe some. Rin Tin Tin stunts because it was a bit bare bones. It was bare bones for Rin Tin Tin. You're right. I was like upset about that. Yeah. Um, so we watched this from that same archive guy who says he has the best prints ever, and this is the worst of his best prints ever. Yeah, um, this one didn't come with this... an obnoxious description though. Like there, there is nothing. Oh, he didn't wrong say. With this copy. <laughs> oh, so he knew. He uh, he accepted that this one just looked like lint. Like this was <laughs> hard to watch. Like. Yeah, I, like I usually had to the print to read the, the rip. writing and stuff. Oh, yeah, you can barely make out the intertitles, and everything just looks like washy. It literally looks like I pulled lint out of my pocket, <laughs> took a picture of it, and threw it up on screen, and then pixelized it. Yeah, that is pretty much it, exactly. <laughs> so, this and is a story the of the only Hillfolk. copy of Hills of Kentucky. Was it the same guy in archive? I couldn't tell. Uh, yeah. Yes, it was. Some hillbillies. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's that, it starts with the Kentucky backwards, and the and it starts with Rinty doing his iconic pose. And I finally noticed that yes. all Rintin films are exactly the same. It's just romance and adventure with some Rintin in action. They're all exactly the same. <laughs> this is basically a remake of the Night Cry. Yeah, it's very similar to Night Cry. It's pretty much exactly the same, except there's no snow or pelts. Or a condor. Or a condor. But other than that, it's That's it. the same it's... film. Yeah, exact same plot. Yeah. And uh, this film starts with that uh, title screen that says Kentucky Backwards. And there's a $500 ward. And I thought this reward was out for an actual guy. Because I don't know why they'd call Rin Tin Tin the Grey Ghost, which is a, a ter- it seems random, and he's he's not grey. Yeah, it's a terrible name, and what the fuck has he even done to get a name like this? Like he doesn't do anything. I don't know what he could have possibly done, like for the five hundred dollar award you- either. Well, yeah, no, he doesn't seem to do... They don't seem to do much of anything. It's not like... Even the Night Cry establishes, like, oh, they're mad at him because they think he's killing sheep. Yeah, this... But this doesn't establish that they're they're basically just a pack of stray dogs who eat scraps, right? Yeah. And, and lambs that aren't cared for. Yeah, I don't know who want to offer a $500 reward for a dog that does nothing but mind his own business. It's weird. Right, yeah. So there's a, yeah. there's a leader of this little clique, a little gang... And he's called Ben, who's a bit of a bully. And he has a brother. Yep. Who, um, <laughs> the, I like how the title screen said, fighting against igno- ignorance in the backwood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is one of those, like, tropes as, like, the people just hate <laughs> education yeah. reading. We don't need your city learning around here. <laughs> Leave them kids alone. <laughs> And uh, Ben is mad that his brother became useless ever since he met the new school ma'am, which I guess means teacher, and, and she put those crazy learning ideas in his dumb head. <laughs> yeah, crazy learning. <laughs> which we don't even know what he's learning or thinking. Yeah, like, dude just reads a book. Ah! Throws it across yeah, the room. <laughs> oh, yeah, you blasphemy. You read random words again? <laughs> Get out! Yeah. Uh, so yeah. It's kind of insulting to like anybody in Kentucky, right? It's kind of just saying, like, yeah, people in Kentucky didn't want to learn how to read. Yeah, I don't even know if people in Kentucky can read now. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, they can. It's uh, West Virginia where they can't. West Virginia. I don't even yeah, know the difference between these places. <laughs> there, there's an old, old joke, you know, like um, the, the uh, toothbrush the tooth was brush. invented in West Virginia because if it was invented anywhere else, it would be called a teeth brush. Um, okay. Ha 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 
Because they're, they're missing teeth. They only have one Oh, tooth. right. I thought it was like a tooth teeth joke. Like, you were meant to brush your all, all your teeth, not one. Uh, yeah, I, no. didn't, I didn't get it at all. <laughs> I don't know. It's a very, very old joke. It's like a grandpa joke, not even a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> a great grandpa joke. I don't even know what goes on in West Virginia anymore. Huh? Whatever. I don't know. I hope they brush their teeth there, though. So, um, I, I, they must by now, right? It's 2021. They should be brushing their teeth in West Virginia. I'd like to take a trip there, and it's just identical to this film. Like, it's not even like Kentucky anymore. It's just West Virginia is now this place. Something bad happened that caused yeah. it. <laughs> uh, so we get introduced to Rinty and his pack of primal dogs who have been driven into pack formation by hunger and mistreatment. And uh, Rinty, well, who's the- mistreating them? Uh, the elements. Like just I thought it was like they... the elements that are doing it. Well, maybe they're beaten, so they run away from home, like children. Maybe that's the guy who did the five hundred dollar award. He wants his pack back because he mistreated him. He wants to mistreat oh, him more. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. He thinks Rin Tin Tin is like taking away his dogs. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, no. The award said dead or alive, so I don't know why he'd want his dog uh, dead. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Rin, he's the leader, of course, and he's known as the Phantom. I mean, he's known for his phantom-like raids and escapes, and he's called the Grey Ghost for some reason. Yeah, he's like freaking special services. Yeah, dude's always sneaking special around forces. in this film. And uh, Rinny's in real life girlfriend, Nanette, is here as well. Nanette, his wife! Yeah. His wife. <laughs> oh, his wife! He got married to her. Yeah. <laughs> I do gotta say, Nanette, her acting is pretty stiff. <laughs> Yeah, she's it's like Adam Sandler's wife when he when she shows up in his film. She's only in it because Adam says so. Same with Rinny. Yeah, she just kind of stands there and looks around and's like, "I'm a wife." It's <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, Rin- but we're compared to Ren Renty, who can act. <laughs> it's just kind of like, yeah, yeah. She's just there for the paycheck. I, I don't she's think she to- total nepotism. <laughs> I don't think she even moves in this film now that I think about it. She's no, either, she just sits there. Yeah, she's she, um, move. she lays down with him and she's uh, tied up. I think that's all she does. And you thought like Rin Tin Tin was a diva. She didn't lift a paw. <laughs> and um, so the Rin Tin Tin and his pack are just running through the forest and they run towards Ben Shack where him and his idiotic buck loving brother is. And they just open fire on them. And, like, it didn't seem like they were charging the cabin. It just seemed like they were running by, but they started unloading on them. Yeah, these guys really hate dogs, which I feel like is also not a very Kentucky adi- attitude. Uh, do they love dogs in Kentucky? I think they must. Yeah, I guess so. And I, we, got an, we get another awesome title um, screen that says... For years, teachers were not used to being welcomed into Kentucky, but the new generation demanded education. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> it was like an iconic tile screen. I loved it. And uh, so the head, t- uh, one of the teachers at the school is called Janet, who's the love interest of the film. And um, Yeah, that's, uh, that's Dorothy Dwan. And she won the courage and admiration of the dumb hill folk. <laughs> Like, like I'm not even being yeah. mean. This is what the title screen says. I love that folk. That that folk. That that phrase. Hill folk. <laughs> Dumb hill folk. We should start going going back to that instead of hillbilly. It sounds like they do like hoodoo. Like they're into root magic and stuff. <laughs> the hill folk voodoo. <laughs> what they using like, for they like be casting curses on Renty. Oh my god! I can just imagine them using like Kentucky Fried Chicken buckets as voodoo dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Just like draw someone's face over chicken Colonel bones. Sanders. <laughs> yeah, no, chicken, chick, yeah, chicken bone uh, voodoo dolls. Oh, is that a thing? Is that real? That'd be so cool if it was. I don't think so. I don't know why, but that just reminded me that you can bend a bone bone in half if you stick it in vinegar. I don't know why that made me think of that. Oh, do you do, you do that often? No, it's just a weird science experiment that I remember learning about at school. Oh, should I experiment on uh, soaking a bone in disarona? Uh, I wonder what that actually do. That'd be interesting. Another experiment for the cabinet. Write it down. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'll just Google it instead. What happens. I doubt it's any results will come out. So what happens if you put a chicken boot in Disarama? <laughs> like 10,000 well, results. Booze. I put booze. Oh, booze. Nothing. 
<laughs> How anticlimactic! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we were expecting anyway. Of course, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> It grows uh, back into a fully formed chicken. <laughs> oh, yes. man. So Janet has a crippled brother called Davy, and um, he follows a goat away from the school, and Rinty has his pack with him, and they begin to hunt down the goat. And Davy just gets caught up in all this, so the community hears Davy's horrified screams and rushes to hear what all the commotion's about. And the villagers proceed to shoot at Rinty and his pack, but luckily none of them get killed like they did in um, that other Rinty film. The dead yeah. one. Yeah, and... Um, so, then Rinty acts like he was hit. I thought he actually was oh. hit. I couldn't... I wasn't sure, because it seems like he, like, he bounces back from a bullet wound if he was, yeah. Yeah, Andy. Because I thought he, he was hit too, but then he just, like, kind of, like, recovers i just guessed he had like special healing powers like maybe that's that the was logic. the reel that was missing <laughs> maybe <laughs> that explains the missing how the reel. bullet came out david we have rinty <laughs> healing and some maybe some more of nanette maybe nanette's big like oh, show yeah. stopping part got yeah cut. N- nanette's breakthrough role got accidentally yeah. cut more like rinty saw right. it got jealous and had it cut <laughs> rinty always but gets he final gets cut hit. <laughs> oh shit, Randy didn't want his wife overshining him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just imagine, like, yeah, that, like, all the producers and Renty get together in the screening room, and they're smoking <laughs> cigars. And, like, her screen, yeah, her scene comes on, and he's like, rawr, rawr, rawr. like oh, Renty doesn't like this. We'll cut it. I don't know, Renty. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we get a nice, elegant jump across uh, some rocks from Rinty. Uh, and I thought it was in slow motion, but it might not be. It might just be ele- like an elegant jump. I couldn't tell. And then uh, yeah. Rinty climbs up a tree to evade Ben and manages to escape while he has his back turned. Well, he does a bunch of belly crawling, oh, like doing so convincing cute. acting that he's hurt. And then, yeah, he crawls into a log. And uh, my one of my favorite parts of the movie was when he was peering through a little not hole in the wood to yeah, watch where the guy hole. was. It reminded me of that, uh, that was... scene from Lord of the Rings where they hide from that cloaked thing, whatever it is. Yes, yeah. It just replaced Elijah Wood with Rin Tin Tin. Yeah. And it's like the same thing. So this film influenced one of the biggest selling franchises of all time. Pretty oh, cool. for sure. And, uh... um, and then the print basically turns black for a few seconds. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe that uh, was where the missing yeah, print was. Uh, no, no, no! Like it, it gets so dark. Like, oh right! The intertitles. There's yeah. like it's like someone put black lace over the uh, rip. Oh, is that when it ends? And then it ends on that cliffhanger straight after. Then immediately after Rinny getting badly wounded, you get the cheerful music in the school. Like nothing happened. Just oh yeah, and then it. you you get um Ben wanting to pull a Billy Madison and going to school with the children. Oh, <laughs> that was so funny. I imagine he's the oh one my... that wears the dunce cap as well. <laughs> Pisses his pants. <laughs> no, I'm afraid that's incorrect, Steve. Back of the class. <laughs> uh, oh, when you were at school, man. did you have like uh, tables for dumb kids and smart kids? No, we dude. had that at my school. <laughs> They do that? Yeah, we, they did it at my primary school. What, like... Like, they called it... So we have whole one classes. And table we two. have, like, here's your normal class, yeah. and, like, if you're, like, capable, then you go to an honors class. So, like... Oh, uh, no, they just straight up separated the smart kids and the dumb kids in the class. In the same room? Yeah. So, you, like, the smart kids... Which side were you on? Um... I think I went back and forth. <laughs> oh my god, you're on the dumb side! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, but this is like primary school stuff. Like, what, what is primary? How old are you? Is that elementary? That's like four, what, what, no, that's how, like four years old to ten years old. <laughs> like, I wasn't on any so that's dumb kids. Elementary school. I wasn't with like yeah, any yeah, dumb that's kids. All, the, that's what we call elementary over here. All right. Yeah, I was only like, like the elementary, dumb middle, kids. and high school. I think I was on the... What? I was only on the dumb table for maths. I think I was on the okay table for everything else. Oh, okay, that's understandable. Yeah, I, I was kind of like this, the same way. Actually, I, I had a problem in high school because, like, I was supposed to have, like, the uh, the the smarter kid classes for everything but math. Oh, yeah? And they didn't do that. 
So I, I went to the, the guidance counselor who are basically, I don't know what they get paid to do, yeah. but like, I think they're just paid to like shuffle your classes and say, you're going to get into college and make you <laughs> fill out forms. But like, they're, they're some of the most useless people on the planet. Uh, anyway, yeah, I said, hey, I'm supposed to be like, they call it honors. So I was like, it's supposed to be an honors for these. And then they put me in all honors. And I was like, well, fuck, like, you know, I'm 13. I was like, I'm not going to go back and tell them I don't need honors math. But like, I failed a bunch. Yeah, I, I, fa- I failed math as well. Oh, yeah. I still haven't even passed Well, math. no, all high school. Because they, for some reason, even though I was not doing well that first year, they continued to put me in honors for the rest of my high school career. And I failed two classes that I had to repeat. <laughs> oh my two, God. I had two math classes in my final year of high school to catch up. Yeah. I was doing maths all the way into college and even in college, I still didn't pass maths. Oh no, it was second to last year. I had two math classes cause I had failed both of them, but, yeah. but the way they structure it, it's like, you don't, you know, you get the credits and you're good and whatever, but yeah. in the last year of high school, I pretty much, just gave up. I knew I was never going to pass maths to so stop trying. <laughs> I, I passed my last year. I, I, I don't still haven't passed. But... It's insanely difficult. So, so you can graduate without actually passing? You can math, graduate really? without passing a single course. What? Yeah, for high school. You don't need to pass anything and you'll still end. Well, no. Yeah, yeah you call college whatever it is. When oh, you're for college. Um, well... If you get good grades in high school, it can help you get into a better college. But for most colleges, you don't even need GCSEs to yeah, get Yeah, but your, your college is still in the teenage years, where our college is a thing that happens after high school, after you're 18. Uh, yeah, our college is 18. So it's like, Right, but your high school is like, uh, ends at 16, Yeah, right? we finish high school at 16 years old. Then we get to yeah, college. Yeah, so our high school is like 13, 14 to like 18. I think it's basically the same, though. Like, give or take a year. I, I, I don't know. For, I mean, from the shit you've said on these podcasts, apparently our high school teaches a lot more shit than yours. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. I think the only thing um, America's <laughs> education system's lacking is geography, from what I hear. Uh, yes, yeah, our geography. So it's like, once you get to high school, actually, they don't teach you any more geography at all. You get some history. Oh, my they tell God. You, but a lot of... A lot of American history, actually. So, yeah, like, our American education system, like, it is founded on, like, nobody else matters but us. That's crazy. So you don't need to know where, like, Nigeria or Poland is. That's fine. Just as long as you know where Colorado is. Yeah, for the you, first three good. years of high school, you do humanities, which is history and geography and one. Then after that, you pick to either do geography or history. I picked history. I mean, I, I don't know. It, it might be fair because, like, we have 50 states, right? Yeah. And I, I assume most Americans could tell you where all 50 of those states are. And every state is about the size of, like, a country anywhere else in the world. Yeah. So where we already know where 50 countries are and we just vaguely know where the rest are, I think that's fair. I could probably tell you where four states are. I could probably name four states. <laughs> to name four states. I, I, there's an Animaniacs clips. Oh yeah, I know clip that one. With That's all the fun. states and their capitals. Yeah, I'll, you should watch that, and then now, now you'll know all. About I know us. Florida, New York. Well, yeah, that one's easy. We stick out there. Texas. Um, so you you know all the most densely populated states. Yeah, Washington. Do you know where Kentucky is? Um, is it in the south? Uh, it's considered the South, but it's not, like, as far south as Florida. The deep south. It's not as south as Florida. Is it ne- well, see, that's Texas? kind of a misleading thing, because the deep south doesn't go as south as Florida either. Like, the Flor- Florida is not the deep south. I'm that's guessing... Like your Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama. Yeah, I'm guessing but Alabama, we're south Texas, of the deep south. Uh, like, all the redneck places are just close together. Right, and Kentucky's the north end of the uh, redneck places. Ah, so it's, like, the least rednecky. Uh, no, oh. no, I wouldn't say that. Your, <laughs> your country slash. Well, I mean, it, 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 it's. I don't. I don't know. If you compare it to maybe like Mississippi and Alabama, uh, then it's less so than them. Those are like the real like. The real big yeah. ones that like were especially notorious for racism, you know. Yeah. So a state's like basically countries, but you call the country states, and everyone else calls those specific country states. 
I mean, they're the size of most other countries. Yeah. Yeah, because I never hear anyone living in America refer to America as a continent. They like call it a country. Well, yeah. But it is a continent. But yeah, I mean, like from where I'm at right now, it would take me about six, maybe a little bit more hours <clears throat> yeah. to leave my state. Damn. Yeah, of driving. I think I could drive to the other side of the country in that time. Right, yeah, size of countries. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> where where were we in this damn movie? We're at Billy Madison. <laughs> Billy um, Madison. <laughs> and then uh, then Renty goes on a, a fishing trip with Davy, the little boy. Oh yeah, that's so cute. I like Renty just starts eating the fish straight away as soon as he pulls it out. It's so cute, and they have a little cuddle. It's awesome. And he loses his crutch, and Renty goes swimming after it. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I think this was like the best, most wholesome part of the movie. Yeah, I, I think I've began to trust Rinty around little kids now. Like, I don't think he's going to tear the face off I or mean, anything. He goes through a river rapids to get this kid's crutch back. Yeah, he, Which he actually loves looked kids. legitimately dangerous. I feel like that must have been a Rinty stunt double that they like. I do, killed. I do think it looked too I mean, dangerous. They were like crazy rapids. As it was, I guess it was clearly very shallow, so. Yeah. They should have thrown the disabled kid in after the crutch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, they play f- fetch a little, and then they go do that fishing in the rapids. Then Janet thinks Steve looks lovely in his new suit that he's wearing to impress her, which is lovely. That's some of the more romance plot for the Rinty film. Uh, that that's the extent of the romance it's like oh you have a nice suit yeah I'm like, we're in love now <laughs> and uh and his, his brother keeps trying to steal her off him because he thinks she's his but she woman. hasn't complimented that's the way it goes with men right like a woman compliments us and we're like damn she wants to fuck i think that like every time a girl smiles at me i'm like oh she likes me <laughs> oh she doesn't even have to speak to you and you're just like yeah she's into me yeah if she like looks at me I'll i get that yeah <laughs> oh my god a female's looking at me <laughs> <laughs> such morons <laughs> and uh so ben tells his brother to go home and that janet's his girl but steve doesn't back down and says that Janet, when Janet tells him that she's going to marry you, then I'll go home. So he's finally sticking up for himself. And yeah, but I also didn't get this. Like, it's very, like, I don't know, like, Ben just rolls up out of nowhere. He and does. is like, Janet's going to marry me. And, like, go home, what? Ben, you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, then Ben punches Steve in the face, but Steve punches back and they have, like, a little tussle. And it's yep. uh, and it, this is when Rinty and uh, Davy get into trouble with that pack of dogs that have elected a new leader and now want to kill both Rinty and the kid. <laughs> and it's intercut yeah. really nicely both of the fights, which was nice. For oh Rinty yes, film. yes, that was really cool. The the Ben versus Steve, and then Rinty yeah. like biting the heads off of dog puppets. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to see something like that in a Rinty film, but it was cool. They're actually tr- yes, trying that new was... things. Straight. Very competent direction and editing. Yeah, this nobody director's actually decent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Davy um, calls Rinty over because Rinty senses danger after the tussle, and Bill shoots his brother in the shoulder. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, it was an yeah. accident! I swear, it was an accident." Bill, you mean um, Ben? Yeah, Ben shoots uh, his brother in the shoulder. Yes. Yeah. And he's like, oh, it was an accident. I'm like, no, it wasn't. It was no way was that an accident. Yeah, yeah, I was shooting for the dog. Who was like, I think the dog was right in front of the, Janet, so he'd have probably ended up shooting Janet in the head. Oh, I'm sorry, Janet, it was an accident. <laughs> that dog is the grey ghost. <laughs> and, um... Wait, why did Ben just go up point blank and shoot the dog if you want? Oh, it don't make any sense. It's weird. <laughs> no. Oh, it's a, a total bad lie. And then... Then Ben is uh, Mr. Steelio Girl. He literally just <laughs> takes Janet away like a caveman. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what he was thinking, but he puts her on that raft. Like, where are you going? <laughs> There's rapids. Yeah. It's just, well, he's like, if I can't have her, then nobody will. <laughs> and, uh, and sends her out on a raft in the rapids. Yeah, and I think, uh, I'm not sure if this is 
now, but I think Ben also steals Rinty's girl as well. So he steals both the girls and he steals, uh, I mean, he ties her up to that random post and she just sits Oh there. yeah, we didn't talk about Nanette yeah. and uh, Rinty's rescue of her. Yeah. <laughs> And so Rinty tries to tell everyone, but they're like, Ooh, what do you want, dog? Why are you barking? Whoa, right, they're on? so annoyed by him. Yeah, and he starts pulling on that kid's crutch, and they're still like, what do you think he wants? Then they just close the door in Ben's <laughs> face when they see him coming. Like, okay. <laughs> and then Ben think, like Ben's positive Rinty's in there, and he refuses to leave. Until he's in there. Right, again, in another mirror of the uh, night cry. Yeah, it's like identical. It takes so yeah. long to move on from searching for Rinty in the house. It just yeah, I actually didn't take any notes about this. I'm just remembering it now because it's like, oh, this just sucks. Yeah, like Rinty hides in the kid's bed, and after a while of looking around, Steve pulls up his cover when the kid pretends to be asleep, and Rinty's moved from there so he didn't find him. It's just, it goes on for yeah. ages and nothing happens. It's quite dull. Yeah, it was awful. Uh, so after the scene drags out, Nanette's eventually set free. and, um, <clears throat> and Yeah, while well, Rinty yeah. causes a distraction oh, yeah. by going around a cabin mm. and dropping a ladder, so the guard on Nanette walks over to investigate, and then he like bites around at her ropes and pulls her free. <laughs> yeah, I thought Rinty was going to climb up the ladder at first, but no. I did too. Yeah. Like I thought like I it looked like he was looking at it, and then it was like, oh, that's too steep, and was going to like take the ladder and pull it to a, a like a slightly lower angle yeah. and then climb it. Yeah, that's what I but thought. Instead of, yeah, he throws it off the side of the building. Yeah, this film's subverting expectations for long-time Rinty fans. <laughs> that's a subversive, transgressive film. Yeah. It's the Black Sheep of the Rinty franchise. It's the only one that strays <laughs> from the formula. And um, so the next day... This is when Bane carries Janet away, like the caveman he is. Yeah, yeah, the Mr. Steal Your Girl bit. Mr. Illiterate Steal Your Girl. Yeah, I was like, oh, anyway, yeah, and the raft <laughs> and the river rapids. Yeah, and uh, I, I thought it was crazy that the girl who plays Dorothy in the silent film was actually doing the rapid stunts herself. Like, when she was doing it, it did look quite dangerous. Yeah, I did. Like, and she almost went over that waterfall. I, I can't believe it was just like they cut away from a normal size rapid, but it did look like quite a steep waterfall that she was next to. It was crazy. Yeah, no, the, the, this was all done really well. Yeah, it reminded me. Like, of basically, that, from um, here on out, it's all really good direction. At yeah, least. definitely. And the Rinny manages to get out of the water in time, and he pulls the raft himself. He's very strong. He pulls it out of the water with Janet on, which was cool. And then the film basically just cuts to two years later and Steve and Janet now have a baby. Oh, yeah. Which is Children exactly and Rin -Tin -Tin like that um, first Rin Tin Tin film. And the same way, okay, so, but no puppies. So so going back now to, to, to dealing with Ben, there's a moment where Rin Tin Tin oh my God, cl yeah. climbs a rock and he's, he does his like traditional death from above, yeah. but subverting expectations again, yeah. he leapfrogs off of Steve into the water, and it appears that Steve falls into the water, yeah. and they tussle I a bit, but it's not concluded. That's... Yeah. Hmm. So, and I was yeah, like, I was I, did I miss something? That. Right, hmm. and because... It's not conclusive what happens to Steve. Again, like um, what Cuckoo, a few in uh, yeah, the yeah. line. We don't have a complete print, apparently. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what happens to Steve. But considering two years later, everybody's happy. I'm willing to count that as a kill because I think Renty drowned Steve. Yeah, I think he must have drowned him off camera. Or Steve probably or... hit his head on like a kind of rock underneath the water and just passed out and drowned. Right. Because it shows him fall in, and they do have some kind of tussle, but then next thing you know, Renty is saving Janet. Yeah. So Renty had to get away from Steve somehow, and we don't see Steve come out or recover or be like, drat, they got me, and walk away. <laughs> so I assume that basically whether, you know, maybe he wasn't actively involved in, like, the fight killing him. Yeah. But he does push him into the water, and... I'm counting it as a kill. Yeah, it's manslaughter. <laughs> yes, yes, it's manslaughter. <laughs> so I'm counting it as a, a renty kill. We, so we need like one a, of Kentucky. tears for this list. Like, confirmed, 
murders, manslaughter, unconfirmed kills. <laughs> we do like different categories. Uh, well, I mean, like in a PG-13 movie, right? If you yeah. see someone take an impact that should kill them and they go down and you don't see them the rest of the movie, mm. it's implied that they're dead, right? Like, yeah. Do you think we should count Cuckoo's death as well then? Who's? Cuckoo's, that guy who died. Well, no, no, because like... It basically, you just see Rinty jump, and then everything else is completely off screen, right? Yeah. But he's not in a position where uh, true. he, you know, he's not in a direct yeah. live or die position. Yeah. Uh, ben is in the water. Yeah. He's live he's or dead. die, but and the only way that Rinty could get away from him mm-hmm. is basically if he's incapacitated in the water, which would mean drowning. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think he's definitely and he dead. was pushed into the water by the momentum of Renty's jump. Yeah. So I, I think it's fair to count that as a kill, um, which brings our total kill count up to six, which is how, surprisingly low. How many low. films are we in? Um, gosh. Uh, like the I have to look up our, one, our episodes. Yeah. Huh? I think this might be the fifth one. Because we did uh, two films in one episode. Let's see. And I think he definitely drowned because they probably include him at the end with the kids, but he's not there. Like, ah, oh, Uncle Steve. So this, exactly yeah, nice this is the sixth film. So basically, a a kill per film, except he started out like there. I'm going back through my notes, um, because that first movie where the North begins. Yeah, there was a lot of killing. Yeah, in that he one. thought he was still in World War One in his first film. <laughs> he he hadn't quite yeah. recovered from his PTSD. So he had one in Lighthouse by the Sea. Yeah. So I guess Where the North Begins was two. Yeah. Two kills there. Mm-hmm. And then he's basically had, I guess, I guess, one kill per film since then, but there's one, I think, Night Cry, he didn't actually kill anyone. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that the one when he wore, wore those cute shoes? The Condor one. Yeah, oh, yeah, the Condor one. Well, he killed the bird, yeah, that, but um, that count was an actual kill. Wait, you're thinking of Clash of Wolves, which yeah. we liked. Yeah, that's the best one. As our, well, yeah, and that one basically he pulls the bad guy off of a horse, yeah. and then his pack of wolves does the dirty work. Uh. But that counts as a kill because it's it's an on-screen death, and Rinty orchestrated it. Yeah. Would you count the Condor kill as an actual kill? No, I'm only counting human deaths. People. Okay. Yeah. So Night Cry had no kills. Ah, eh, that's fair enough. Maybe I did count cuckoo and below the line maybe i'm fine with counting it on all oh no 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 cuckoo's brother oh no i i only counted the guy he grabbed by the neck and dragged behind the chair <laughs> yeah. just <laughs> quietly that, 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 was, that was uncontestable that <laughs> was a kill. yeah that is a extremely confirmed kill there's no question that that guy is dead <laughs> yes R- ritty why are you covered oh, in blood wow. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, so do we have anything else for Hills of Kentucky? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Do you know what our next film is? It is tracked by police from the same source, so it's going to look like shit. And then we're on to the serials. Ooh. Um, I would say for Hills of Kentucky, like, it is so close to the Night Cry in terms of plot. Yeah. Uh That, like, I would... And Night Cry was kind of boring, but I think Night Cry was better. There was more tension. There was better, yeah. um, like the the Rinty hiding out yeah. was done better. And also his connection to the person, like when he was wo- wounded, it was like his dog and he didn't want to kill it. It all made a lot more sense. Yeah. And like the, the Condor fight was a much better <laughs> finale than just the River Rapids. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think... I definitely like the Night Cry more, but I still think this is pretty decent, so I'd probably give this a 6 out of 10. This, this is your mid-level Renton 10, where yeah. now they've they've created their formula, and they're comfortable with it, and it's just like, you know, it falls in the formula, it doesn't do anything remarkable, <laughs> but it, it doesn't outright suck either, it's just right there in the middle. And I think... Yeah. Having a better print that was easier to see would probably make you like it a little bit more because it's yeah, more like shit. Likely. But yeah, it's still just mid-level Rinty. Yeah, there's there's nothing really inoffensive about it. It's just very formulaic and it lands right in the middle, like you said. 
Yeah, I have high hopes for Tracked by Police. I know nothing about it except for the title, and I like that title. Yeah, if Renty's a police dog, that'd be really cool. I I assume that Renty is going to find himself on the wrong side of the law, and he is the <laughs> one who's tracked by police. <laughs> There's a dog that keeps buying all those people's fruit! <laughs> that's the formula, so, but we'll see next episode. Maybe, maybe there'll be a fugitive who's wrong, like... Uh, uh, convicted of a crime he didn't commit. Oh my god! Who befriends Renty and together they solve his crime and find the one-armed man. <laughs> That'd be epic. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. All right. Thanks for listening. Ciao. See ya.